This is a demonstration of how a farm worker would use the PaySource phone app to record their timesheet hours. First of all, the employee will receive the invitation through their email. The email will give them the login username and the password to get started. So we're going to use a profile called Jason, and I'm just going to enter the details in. Right, when I click login, the phone app is going to ask me for a PIN number. The first time I log in, I need to set it. It's a four digit one. And confirming that, from then on, I can log in using the PIN number. At the bottom of the screen, I see some icons. I can touch on timesheets. And here I see a little line for each day of my pay cycle. There's red lines for the days that are in the past and a blue line for the current day. I can set the time band up on the current day first. So I'm just going to touch on the add button here. And now I can add in the hours. Up the top, I click on the plus button. Now I select the first time band of the day. So I'm going to say that I started at 4 a.m. And the time I finished was 6 a.m. So I select that, and I'm just going to touch the next button here at the bottom. I can record a note if I want to here. If I touch on that, it'll highlight. But I don't have anything to say, so I'm just going to click the Done button now. Now I can finish this, or I can add another time band. So I'm going to add another one. Up the top, I click on the plus button again here. And I'm going to say that I came back to work at 8. Right, and I click next again at the bottom. Then I finished at 12 p.m. I touch next again. And then I'm going to click done. And save at the bottom here. When I've done that, it'll take me back to my timesheet, and I can see the hours I've recorded here. Six hours so far for the day. After lunch, I can touch back on this time band and record again. So I'm touching it again, back up to the top to the plus button. I'm going to say that I started back at 2 p.m. I touch next again here, and I finished at 6 p.m. Next again, and done at the bottom again. Now I save it again. So that saved my time bands for the day. At any time I can go and record the time in the past as well for the days that have already been in the week. So for instance if I select Monday, I just touch on the red line here. Click the plus again at the top. Say I started at 6 again, or maybe it was 6.15. And maybe I finished at 8.30. Next, and done. And if I click save again at the bottom so I can keep a track of what I'm doing, I can see my time bands begun for the day. If I want to make any changes, I can use the edit button here, or I can simply touch on any of the days. I can also use the timer here, which works like a stopwatch. If I start the timer off, it'll record the time, and then I just need to remember to stop it at the end of the day or the end of the time band. If I forget to stop it, I can easily edit any of the time bands. For instance, if I want to change a time for the current day, all I do is touch the time again on that graph. Now I can touch on any of these time bands to change them. So for instance, if I finished at 6.30 p.m., not 6, I'll just touch that line here. Click on the finish time here and make my change. Here we go. And choose next again at the bottom and done again. And save. That takes me back to see the change. Now I've worked 10.5 hours for that day. If my employer wants me to record the job that I was doing, when I do the time bands, it'll look a bit like this. I'm going to use Tuesday, so I'm touching on Tuesday here. There's a plus now at the top straight away, so I touch on that. 
And now I've got the jobs that I could have been working on here. If I don't use anything, it goes to a default. So I'm going to select milking as it was the first job of the day. And then I touch on next at the bottom of the screen. Now I can follow the time bands. So I choose 6, 30 a.m. I touch next again and I finished at 8.30 a.m. Next again at the bottom and done. Now I do my next time band. So I touch on the plus at the top here. I select that I was doing stock control and next again at the bottom. And then I'm saying that from 9.30 a.m. next to 10.30 a.m. next again and done. I was doing stock control and I save it at the bottom. So that just gives the farmer a little bit more information about the jobs that were done through the day. At the bottom of the screen I can choose leave down here. If I touch on that I can see how much I've got left over for annual leave and sick leave if the farmer has turned that on. If I want to send a leave request for some time off I touch on the leave request there and then I can select what type of leave. So I select annual and choose next at the very bottom of the screen here. Now I choose the date on the calendar. If it's not in the current month, I'll use this arrow to go to the next month. And I want to have the 16th and 17th off, so I'm just touching on those dates. Then I'll select next at the bottom and send the request. When the employer receives that request, he'll be able to reply back to me and I'll see a notification here at the bottom whether he's accepted or declined the leave. And if I click on the notification here, I can see that the leave has been approved. You can also view payslips if you touch on the payslip icon on the left hand side and I can see the payslip information from a previous pay if I touch on that at the top. And if I want a copy of my payslip, all I need to do is select this little icon at the top. It looks like an envelope. Straight away, I'll receive the email in my account, and I'll be able to see the total of timesheet hours that I've recorded for each day. If I have any problems logging into PaySource or recording my timesheet hours, I can call the help desk team at PaySource on 0800 746 700.